How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So on uh, today's video we have this Odyssey here with a very interesting uh, situation that happened. So um, this car was at a different Honda dealer and uh, it was with them for about two months or so. They tried a whole bunch of things. Um, they had initially a code with uh, the static aiming incomplete of the camera that goes uh, right on the windshield right in there. So naturally uh, the camera was effective so they went ahead and ordered a new one they put a new one and that's when all the trouble started so when they put a new one they got the static aiming to be complete which is with uh, three targets and uh, it's got to be precise measurements and a whole bunch of stuff that we do after that you have to do a dynamic aim which is with the hds and you have to drive it with with certain param parameters and uh, that's how you get that to uh, set so this is where everything started and when they were trying to do the dynamic aiming it kept failing, kept failing, saying uh, that there was an error. So initially, the code was for a static code. Then uh, the code that started all the secondhand stuff was a B2A60-52. And all that means is that the dynamic procedure was not aimed. So once again, they tried to uh, do a whole bunch of things, um, replace a whole bunch of parts, ended up parts warranting that same camera again on the windshield. They thought it was possibly defective. And uh, that's where we came in over here. So this car was brought to me a couple days ago. I tried a whole bunch of stuff. I checked for updates. Uh, I performed a hard reset, check, make sure there's nothing else going on with the van. And uh, we tried a different couple of uh, ways and uh, just procedures and nothing seemed to be working. So uh, at that point, I got a donor vehicle, make sure nothing else was going on with this car. And I put the camera in here and the codes cleared immediately because that camera was aimed already. So I said, all right, now I'm going to take the camera from this car and make sure nothing's wrong with it and put it in the donor vehicle. So I went ahead to that, did all the aiming and uh, I drove it for dynamic aiming and within 10, 15 minutes, the code cleared. So I said, all right, everything's good. Put it back in this car uh, just for testing purposes. And every time you switch it from car to car, even though the light will be off, you should definitely clear it. Um, but anyway, so we went ahead and I put it back in here and when it drove the car and um, the adaptive cruise control worked, uh, but the lane keep assist did not. And at that point, it set another code and that code was C1040-00. And uh, what that code means is there's a difference in variation of wheel speed um, monitored. So it notices that one of the wheels or possibly multiple wheels are not reading correctly or differently. So um, not enough to make a difference to where it triggers the ABS light, but enough to where it would allow it not to program and use the um, lane keep assist uh, correctly. So obviously at that point, I'm gonna be checking for a huge variation in uh, tread, which wasn't the case and ended up being that this wheel right over here is a 235-65-18 and a car calls for a 235-60-18. So three of the tires are Bridgestone, that left rear is a Michelin and obviously the wrong size. And that is exactly what is causing our issue. Now I'm gonna be replacing the tire obviously with the correct one and um, re-aiming everything and rechecking everything. Uh, but I'm confident that's uh, what it's gonna be. So with these new cars, the point is, you can't just go and change stuff like you could back in the day. There's way too much stuff going on, way too many sensors. And, you know, anything like this will affect the, the driving dynamics of the car and obviously all the sensors and all the safety equipment implemented in the car. So, like I said, you can't just go and slap on another tire. Will it work? Sure. Will it cause some other issues? Most likely. So even if it was programmed, you know, at this point, the lights are off, but it's not working properly because the car knows that something is off with the speed. So, and all it takes is a variation of two or three miles an hour. So not that much. And again, not enough to where it'll cause the ABS light to come on. So uh, it doesn't have to be the wrong size. It could just be one brand new tire and three very worn tires will cause the same effect. So essentially, that's where we're at. So I just wanted to bring this video up to you guys because uh, once again, this car, um, you know, was at a different dealer for two months, Honda's involved, a whole bunch of stuff going on and uh, nobody was really able to pinpoint it. And all it is, as simple as silly as it is, is just a one tire 
being off, which is enough to cause all these issues. Another thing you want to uh, be aware of if you're having similar issues is making sure that nothing is obstructing the, the windshield, that, that has two uh, small chips, um, but not enough, in my opinion, to make a difference. Obviously, uh, the tire uh, is the culprit here. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Please uh, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this.